allow me to introduce you to Lauren Witzke. You see, Lauren posted the video I'm about to show you, and she said, as your silver-haired Maverick pilots retire, meet his new replacement. D1. And lift off. She seems to be doing a pretty good job to me. Flying the plane. Hey. Right? I'm not a pilot, but do you see anything wrong here? Yeah, me neither. And one of the best parts was she got uh, some added context on Twitter. It said, the pilot is doing nothing wrong in this clip. <laughs> Lauren here with 143,000 followers on Twitter is a Christ first woman and a 2020 GOP nominee for US Senate. Yikes. And honestly, the reason that I'm about to do what I'm about to do is because after eight hours, she tweeted this out. It says, I'm scared in parentheses because what it does is it re-ups the original post and puts it at the top of the feed and puts it in everybody else's feed for a second time because she commented on it. All right, Lauren, you want some attention? Let's give you some. In 2017, Miss Congeniality here was arrested uh, on meth and heroin charges and resisting arrest. Glad you somewhat got your stuff together, Lauren, because ah, like she's extreme far right with her anti-LGBTQs and QAnon theories. Oh, she was also driving under the influence. They found her unresponsive in a car in the busy Tennessee intersection. Wow. Highlighting the type of people Republicans like to lift up in these elections, Lauren beat an attorney and former Marine. It's like, oh wow, veteran? or drug addict, an attorney, or someone who needs an attorney. I don't know about you, but I'm much more worried about people like her being in our government and driving on our roads than I am that wonderful black woman flying that plane. You can't claim to love God and be a racist piece of trash at the same time. Doesn't work like that. But the GOP 2024, welcome.